Agricultural lending comes with additional risks that a bank needs to consider. Variables such as farmers' yields and prices from season to season will impact their revenue and ultimately their means for repaying their loans. Farmers will always face risks in both their production and the market that are largely out of their control. However, farmers that produce crops in the most appropriate manner can reduce the impact of these variables. A banker assessing which farmer to lend to needs to be able to assess the farmer's ability to maximize yields while minimizing their production costs, whilst always considering the five C's. Identifying good agricultural practices will help a bank determine how efficiently a farmer is operating. A farmer following gaps will also be in a better position to reduce the impact of risks when they occur. There are many freely available resources detailing gaps for specific crops and livestock. For growing crops, gaps will often include using appropriate amounts of fertilizers at the optimum moments during a crop cycle, applying manure to maintain the organic content of the soil, reducing soil erosion by installing hedges and digging ditches. For raising animals, gaps include minimizing the use of non-therapeutic antibodies or hormones, not feeding livestock animal byproducts, ensuring farms adequately sterilize equipment to prevent the spread of disease. Banks can identify if gaps are being followed by conducting farm visits as part of the general credit risk assessment process for lending. An on-farm visit will enable the loan officer to look at the farmer's facilities and identify whether appropriate practices are being followed. Banks may even wish to use specialist agronomic experts to assist them in putting together checklists for identifying gaps based on crop or animal types and in training loan officers in these areas, enabling better decision-making.